I think it's fair to say that 2019 has been a really decent year for Easter egg hunters. And whether you're into looking for secret music, secret messages, Easter eggs, references to the past, nods to your favourite films, to the wacky and crazy stuff that we may never understand, and to the Easter eggs that have been hidden for years, there has definitely been something for everyone. And today we're going to cover a bunch of my favourites as we take a look at some super secrets found in video games and right here on The Easter Egg Hunter. One of the very first easter eggs to be found this year was uncovered by YouTuber quote Balrog who on the 3rd of January posted a video in regards to an undiscovered version of Tataka's song. Yeah, that famous 19 note melody that composer and voice actor Kazumi Tataka has hidden away in practically every game he has worked on and it is in Nintendo's 2004 GameCube title of Pikmin 2 where you can hear that missing tune. As by removing the memory cards from the console and simply playing through the game until you drop down into any cave or sub-level, the game will warn you that you cannot save. But if you happen to wait upon these save screens for about 3 minutes and 40 seconds, then you will be greeted with that missing version of Tataka's song, which is an easter egg that had been hidden for well over 14 years. Next up, it's the first person shooter and spiritual successor to Blood, Shadow Warrior and Duke Nukem 3D as this is Iron Fury, a game that was created by 3D Realms and developers Voidpoint and is filled to the brim with secrets, easter eggs and references and this upcoming secret so happens to be a dedication to a rather wacky easter egg found in Bethesda's 1995 sci-fi adventure The Terminator Future Shock. You see in that game you could shoot and kill the moon. And uh, yeah, after reaching Heskel's House of Horrors in Zone 5 in Iron Fury, you can head out into the courtyard and also start blasting upon the moon here too, which also produces a similar effect and even throws in an additional message at the end. Yeah, next up we're moving on to indie developers Berserk Studio and their action rhythm game Just Shapes and Beats from 2018. A title we looked in on earlier this year after YouTuber Jackscape found an anti-piracy measure featuring Berserk's latch. And why are we back again? Well, it was just the other day that YouTuber, beta tester and big fan of Just Shapes and Beats, that lost gamer, shared with me several videos in regards to a secret song which was recently discovered. So to activate it, you have to try and manipulate your score by using a cheat engine, which helps you to sift through the game's code in order to locate your score so you can edit it. But in doing so, you will trigger an anti-cheat measure and reveal Latch's secret song. And a big thanks goes out to that lost gamer for helping me achieve it. We have detected a cheat, yeah. And I hope you are cheating indeed Because this whole thing would be awkward And I'd be lying to say that We have detected a cheat, yeah And I hope you are cheating indeed Because this whole thing would be awkward And I'd be lying to say that We have detected a cheat it was back on the 1st of August upon the website selectbutton.net that user RT-55J started a thread in regards to an undiscovered easter egg he had found recently within a video game known as Spitfire, a one-on-one -on -one aerial dogfighting shooter that was released for the Fairchild Channel F video game console in early 1977. You see, RT was viewing various Channel F games as raw, one bit per pixel images using a graphic editor and noticed towards the end of Spitfire a rather weird 
looking pattern. And somehow Artie worked out that by turning on the game and pressing free, which actually doesn't do anything visible, and then by inputting this extremely long code made up of 48 numbers slowly so that each number has time to register, it is at the end of this that you will discover Michael K. Glass's name appear on the screen. A secret that has been hidden for over 42 years and is now one of the earliest known Easter eggs to be found on a video game console. And there is a good reason this Easter egg has been hidden away for so long, as if you actually try this out using an original Spitfire cartridge and console, it will not work. And this is due to a technical oversight when moving from development to production, meaning this Easter egg was permanently trapped. And it wasn't until emulators arrived and Artie's research that this Easter egg could finally see the light of day. In Coalition's Gears 5, a title that has dished out some really neat easter eggs so far including a secret message, secret weapons, many references and funny moments. It is during Act 1 Chapter 4 where you can find one of my favourites, as while you explore the Grand Bomar Hotel you will encounter many DBs that have been possessed by the flock, and as you sneak your way through the bar and dining areas there is one DB that you should stop to observe since it can be seen dancing. Back on the 21st of August 2018, Ubisoft released an official trailer for their upcoming 2019 release of The Division 2 from the Gamescom video game trade fair, and it was exactly 16 seconds into it where there is this shot of two police cars, one of which that appeared to say rather than saying police, and many question whether this was a spelling mistake when in fact it was due to the angle of the camera and the fact that the driver and passenger doors were slightly ajar and helping to obscure the letter I. But that did not stop a meme from being spawned and a bunch of amusing messages from being written over on Reddit. Anyway, roll forward to February of this year when the game's creative director Julian joked that an incorrectly spelt police car would be added to the game in a later update. And on the 21st of August, Julian informed players via Twitter that the car was hidden in the game and the first player to find it would receive some swag. And it is just behind the Lincoln Memorial where you can see it for yourself. Welcome to the Maldives 47. Our final easter eggs today come from Hitman 2 and the latest destination to hit the list as this is Haven Island. A sun soaked tropical paradise for Agent 47 to lounge around in or get busy and activate two rather cool secrets. And the first easter egg requires you to find and destroy 14 decorative skulls that have been carefully placed all around the island. Oh. Once you have taken care of those, then you'll need to take out at least two of the three main targets, then make your way to the far west of the island to this beach where the storm is brewing, and where after a short while, for some utterly bizarre reason, a ghost ship will appear. But if you're after something a little bit more crazier, then restart the destination and begin taking out all three targets. Then subdue or execute the woman bathing in Tyson Williams swimming pool to make this chap on the diving board dive into the ocean. After those steps, you need to find and pick up 11 Haven pamphlets that are dotted all around the island. Then head back to the same beach you encounter the ghost ship, where this time you'll be greeted by a moose nado. <laughs> <laughs> 